What is up, everybody? I'm Country Mets fan here. My initial reaction to the Luis Severino signing. Is Luis Severino the perfect pitcher? No. Is Luis Severino coming off of a horrible season? Yes. Is Luis Severino breaking the bank? No. There is absolutely nothing wrong with Luis Severino on a $13 million deal to be a fifth, sixth starter. Obviously, if Luis Severino is the best starter you acquire all offseason, then we got some problems. Do I truly believe that's the case here? Absolutely not. Um, I think this is the first of many moves. I know nobody likes to believe Andy Martino, but let's face it, he is right sometimes. He's a... I'm not going to say it. I'm going to be nice. He's... A, He's a cornball. He likes to troll. But the man does get things right. He is connected. Um, you can't really argue that. Um, so he does know some things. And he said the Mets are going to go after multiple starters. He said back ends or mid to back end starters. But he also made it seem like we're also. That doesn't take us out of like the Yamamoto Montgomery um, pictures of that ilk either. Whether he's right or wrong, who knows? But I, I do tend to believe that yes, we're going to be in on more back end starters. We're going to be in on more on, on on some of the aces. Um, whether Yamamoto comes to fruition, who knows? I hope he does. But Severino, um, yeah, based off of his numbers last year, do you love that? No. Uh, can he outpitch McGill, Peterson, Lucchese, Budo? Given his track record, hell yes. Uh, I don't believe for a second that he, that any of those guys have more talent than he does. Um, but it's a project. It's it's one hundred percent a project. Like you're paying him thirteen million dollars to hope you can fix him, hope he can stay healthy, and that's what it is. It is what it is. Um, I personally have no problem with that. Like I said, as long as he is indeed a back-end starter, a fifth or sixth guy. If you're relying on him to be your third starter, then something went wrong. Um, but like I said, I don't believe that's going to be the case. Um, as far as the money, like, it's the market. That's the market for these guys. Lance Lynn got, what, 10 mil-ish or something like that. Um Sonny Gray got, what, 25 mil a year? I mean, he's a little better, but you get where I'm going with this. Ken, Ken Maeda made some decent coin. Um, Gibson made over 10 mil. So, like, that's the going rate for pitching. Pitching is, is not going to be cheap. Yamamoto, at this rate, might get closer to 300 million than the initial 200 to 250 that people were thinking. Um, so, yeah, if you got sticker shock, I don't know what to tell you. It... it the going rate for pitching like this is where hopefully having Steve Cohen as an owner is an advantage he's not gonna balk at, at, at giving a guy 13 million to be a back-end starter so that's my take on it agree disagree what have you just can we at least be consistent though like if you're gonna complain that the Mets are doing nothing that Stearns is sleeping this that and the other that all the back-end starters are going off the market. We're going to get left with nothing. Then we make a deal, and you're, it's still complaints. Like, what's going to make people happy? Yamamoto wasn't going to sign today. He's probably not going to sign for a few weeks. Montgomery's probably waiting for a little bit. Like, I, I just don't know what is going to make people happy. I think there's no making everybody happy, I guess. But, like I said earlier on X, if you follow me the year, there, wherever you're watching, um... It's just, wait, to me, it's wait and see. Wait and see approach. Keep, let me see what happens before I jump off the ledge. I think Stearns is going to be quite adequate at his job. I think he's going to put a contender on the field. Um, I hope I can be making a video in a week or two saying, hey, we signed Yamamoto. That's my goal. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Let's go, Mets. Take it easy. Let's see what happens next.